Okay. So, the topic that uh, I'm going to discuss today is two-way ANOVA. A two-way ANOVA is an extension of the one-way ANOVA or analysis of variance that reveals the results of two independent variables on a dependent variable. A two-way ANOVA test is a statistical technique that analyzes the effect of the independent variables on the expected outcome along with their relationship to the outcome itself. ANOVA has many applications in finance and economics, science, medicine, and social science. For the steps in two-way ANOVA, we need to establish our hypothesis, compute for the sum of squares values, then compute for the mean squares values, compute for the sample F statistic for each factor and for the interaction, and then conclude the test. For our example problem, 45 language students were randomly assigned to one of the three instructors and to one of the three methods of teaching. Achievement was measured on a test administered at the end of the term. Use two-way ANOVA with interaction effect at 0.05 level of significance to test the following hypothesis. We have here three null hypotheses. First, there is no significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different instructors. Second, there is no significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different methods of teaching. Third, interaction effects are not present. Okay, so these are our data. For our problem, is there a significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different instructors? Okay, under three different methods of teaching? And is there an interaction effect between the instructors and the methods of teaching? For our hypothesis, okay, so uh, I have already mentioned the null hypothesis. Of course, first, in the, the first one is there is no significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different instructors. Of course, our alternate or alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different instructors. For the second one, it's about what? The method of? Teaching. Our null, there is no significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different methods of teaching. Our alternate or alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference in their performance. For our uh, third, interaction effects are not present for the null. And for our HA, interaction effects are present. Okay? So, next... For the level of significance, we are going to test this at alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Okay? So for the degrees of freedom total, we have there the total values is 45. Minus 1, we have there 44. For the degrees of freedom n or width, this is within, that is k, or the number of groups, times n minus 1. Of course, we have 9 groups times 5 for each, this is N, for each group, minus 1 is equal to 36. For the degrees of freedom column, this is for the A, that is C minus 1, we have 3 different instructors, minus 1 is equal to 2. For the degrees of freedom of row, that is for the B, that is for the method of teaching, we have there 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. For the interaction that is A times B, or A by B, we have there, Column minus 1 times row minus 1, we have there 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. Then the statistics that we are going to use is two-way analysis of variance. Okay? So let us proceed to our computation. Okay, so for our method of teaching, for the, uh, that is for method of teaching uh, 1, we have here 2, and we have here our 3. For the teacher factor, we have here A, B, and C. Okay, so for our uh, sums, okay, so let us get first the sum of uh, teacher A, method of teaching 1. We have here 198. For teacher B, method of teaching 1, we have there 241. For teacher C, method of teaching 1, we have... 197 for the uh, row total of 636 
for method of teaching 2, we have there for teacher A, we have 196. For teacher B, we have 210. For teacher C, we have 224. We have there a row total of 630. Then for the third method of teaching, we have for teacher A, 201. For teacher B, we have 216. For teacher C, we have 199. Our row total is 616. Of course, we need to get the column total. We have there 198 plus 196 plus 201. We have 595. For the second column, we have 241 plus 210 plus 216. We have 667. For the third column, we have 197 plus 224 plus 199. We have there 620. Okay, let us get the grand total. We have the grand total of 1,882. Okay, so next we have already our sums. We need to compute for our sum of squares for A, SSA, or for the teacher factor. That is equal to, of course, for the formulas, You please refer to uh, your book, Math 9, pages 264 to 269. For SSA, okay, we have our column total of 595 squared over. How many values do we have there? We have 15, okay, for the first column. For the second column, we have 667 squared over 15. Plus for the third column, we have 620 squared over 15 minus the grand total squared, 1882 squared over our total number of values, 45. So for our SSA, we have there 178.1778. Okay? So, for our SSB, or for the method of teaching, we have the row totals. We have 636 squared over how many values do we have? 15 plus we have 630 squared over 15 plus we have 616 squared over 15 minus our grand total, 1882 squared over 45. For our SSB, we have... 14.04 okay next is for our ss between ss between is equal to okay we have our subtotals okay so we have 198 squared over how many values 5 plus 241 squared over 5 plus 197 squared over 5 plus 196 squared over 5 plus 210 squared over 5 plus 224 squared over 5 plus 201 squared over 5 plus 216 squared over 5 plus 199 squared over 5 minus our grand total we have 1 8 8 2 squared over 45 okay so to check we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so for our ss between we have there 379.3778 okay next is for our ss a by b ss a by b is equal to we have the SS between minus SSA minus SSB. Our SS between is 379.3778 minus our SSA is 178.1778 minus our SSB of 14.04. .04. Okay? So we have there our SSA by B. We have 187.15998. Okay, the next is we need to compute for our SS total. For our SS total, that is equal to the summation of x squared minus the summation of x squared over n. Okay.
Okay? So for this one, you need to compute 4D or you need to square every values of our data. Then you get the sum. So we have here SS total is equal to 79,218 minus 1882 over 45. For our SS total, we have there 508.5778. Okay? The next is let us compute for our SS within. For our SS within, we have there. Okay, we have SS total minus SS between. Our SS total, we have 508.5778 minus our SS between, that is 379.3778. That is equal to, we have 129.2. Okay, so we can now fill up our ANOVA table. For our ANOVA table, of course, this is 4D. This one is 4D factor, factor A. Okay? This is for factor B. This is for factor A by B. And then within. Okay? So for our SSA, we have there 178.1778. For our factor B, we have 14.04. For our uh, A by B, we have there 187.1559, ah, uh, no, 5998, okay? For within, we have there 129.2, okay? For the degrees of freedom, we have for the de degrees of freedom A, we have there 2. Degrees of freedom B, we have there 2. For A by B, that is... A minus 1 uh, times B minus 1, that is for the columns, we have 2 times 2, we have 4, okay? Then for within, we have there 36, okay? For the mean square, that is sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom, okay? So 178, we have there 178.1778. Divided by 2. We have there 89.0889 or 0 0.09. For B, we have there 14.04 divided by 2. We have there 7.02. And then for the interaction, we have there 187.15, 187.15998 divided by 4. We have there 46.79. And then for within, we have 129.2 divided by 36, that is 3.59, okay? For the computed value, that is the mean square, okay, mean square divided by the within. So, we have for the mean square, uh, we, we, have, we have for the computed value of A, F, A, we have there 89.09 divided by 3.59, Okay? So that is, we have 24.82. For B, we have there 7.02 divided by 3.59. That is 1.95. And then for A by B, that is 46.79 divided by 3.59. That is 13.03. Okay? So let us check our tabular value or the critical value. For uh, 2 and 36 we have there 2 and 36 okay you can check it in your book at page 306 or pages 306 to 308 okay you have there your F critical values of F okay so for 2 and 36 we have 2 and 36 that is, the tabular value or the critical value is 3.26. So, this one, that is also 3.26. For 4 and 36, we have 2.63. Okay? By the way, this is 
0.05. Okay? Again, what is our decision rule? If the computed value is beyond the tabular value, then we reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So, for the first one, for the teacher factor, we have 24.82 is greater than or beyond 3.26. So, here, we need to reject our null hypothesis. Okay? There is no significant difference between the... Um, between the uh, performance of the three groups of students under three different instructors. For B, that is 195 is less than 3.26. So, here we fail to reject the null hypothesis. It means that there is a significant difference in the performance of the three groups of students under three different methods of teaching. And then, for the interaction, okay, 13.03 is greater than 2.63. So, this is, we need to reject our null hypothesis. It means that there is an interaction between our teacher factor and our method of teaching. Okay? So, that's it for our